just like we can all fall over and suffer a physical injury, we can all knock into something and suffer a physical injury. We can all suffer from an emotional injury as well. We can all get offended by things. And when you're dealing with a narcissistic individual who is highly offensive towards you, you are going to begin to think that you are sensitive to criticism when it's not criticism that you're sensitive to, it's narcissistic individuals who are going to go all out to criticise you, to bring you down a peg or two so that they can feel like they are superior to you. So narcissistic individuals are going to be some of the most offensive people you could ever meet, whether they do this overtly and directly or covertly with those backhanded compliments and those innuendos in order to make you feel bad about yourself, to make you feel like you're worth less than you actually are so that they can remain in control over you. And just like we can receive a, uh, we can receive an emotional injury, a narcissistic individual can also receive an emotional injury. However, it's usually a narcissistic injury. Because when it comes to narcissistic individuals, they look for things to be offended by. They are highly sensitive to criticism, which is often why they will go all out to criticise you because they know how much it hurts them. Now, when it comes to narcissistic people, there are several things that you can do that will trigger that narcissistic injury within them. And one of the first of these is any form of real or perceived criticism. Offer them some helpful advice. Now, it's not particularly pleasant when someone offers you unsolicited advice. However, when you go and ask for someone's opinion and they give you their honest opinion, you've asked them for that opinion. A narcissist will ask for your opinion and then get offended when you give the opinion that they didn't want from you. Any form of judgment they get offended by and this triggers a narcissistic injury. They believe that you should just align with them, you should just go along with them, you shouldn't have a different opinion to them. So they get offended when you do. When you don't agree to their values or beliefs, they get offended by this and it's not a case of, well, yes, I can see it from your point of view. I don't understand it because that's not particularly a place I'm at, but I can see why you might struggle. However, that's not me. And they can't see that. They, they believe you should just 100% get everything and just go along with them for the ride. Narcissistic individuals receive that narcissistic injury when someone places a boundary, when someone dares to say no to them. They get really offended when someone says no to them. They believe that they are entitled to have everything their own way. Therefore, when things aren't going their way, they, they can't understand this. Similar to when they're being held accountable for their behaviour. They feel like they're entitled to do as they please. So how dare you try to hold them accountable? If you try to discuss something with them that they simply do not want to talk about, they will get highly offended by this. If you show them any form of indifference, which is their double standards because a narcissist will happily show you indifference when it suits them. However, if you show them any form of indifference, they get offended. They can't see why you wouldn't be bowing down to them and giving them the attention they believe they're entitled to. If you have a different opinion to them, they're not interested in your opinion. They're similar to those double standards. They're not interested in your opinion. However, you should be interested in theirs. Not only should you be interested, you should agree with them. Otherwise, you prefer the other person, you fancy the other person, you're wrong in some way, you're being mean to them in some way, they will go all out to play the victim. If you're not giving them the attention that they believe they're entitled to because they are craving that excessive attention, this can cause and trigger that narcissistic injury. When they feel like their grandiosity isn't being met, that triggers that narcissistic injury. When they feel like they're losing control over you, that triggers that narcissistic injury because they believe they should be in control. 
And when a narcissistic individual receives some form of narcissistic injury, which can also be someone achieving something, somebody going to better themselves, narcissists are incredibly envious of others and they like to go all out to create the environment and to make out that other people are actually envious of them. So when they see someone buying something new or helping somebody out or getting married or celebrating, achieving anything, getting a new job or looking at bettering themselves. This triggers a narcissistic injury and they get offended and they go all out to sabotage that person, to ruin it for that person or to play down or to take the credit or to go on about how they've done something far better. When a narcissist receives a narcissistic injury, they will go all out to punish the person they believe has injured them. They will use emotional pain to punish another person. They will try to make you feel bad. They will try to guilt trip you. They will try to isolate you from people and cut you off from people. They can use physical pain. They can get physical towards you to try and control who you are as a person to serve who they are as a person they will use spiritual warfare against you in order to get one over on you and punish you they will use financial abuse against you to regain control over the situation they will use sexual abuse against you and they will use mental abuse against you. They will go all out to attack you so that they can feel better about themselves. When a narcissist receives a narcissistic injury, this often leads to narcissistic rage where they can potentially lash out at you, they can project and accuse you of doing to them the very things that they're doing to you, they can detach away from the situation and fall silent on you, they can become passive aggressive with those silent treatments and that store wall, the stonewalling and the innuendos and the backhanded compliments, they can be stubborn while projecting and accusing you of being the stubborn one, they can become all forgetful. They can claim that when they receive a narcissistic injury, they can tell somebody some form of information about you that you didn't want other people to know that wasn't anyone else's business and doesn't negatively impact anybody else. They can make up rumours to say your name and they can just claim they didn't know. They didn't know you didn't want people to know that. They can promise to do something and forget. They can start using that weaponized incompetence to get one over on you because they receive that narcissistic injury they'll promise to do something to help you out then they'll forget to do it and then they'll claim that you forgot to remind them but if you remind them they'll accuse you of treating them like a child and they don't need reminding there is no winning with narcissistic people so they can start to procrastinate with that weaponized procrastinate with that weaponized incompetence they can start to invalidate you any way they can they can start to shame you and they will go all out to blame you because they're not going to take responsibility for their behavior if it's in front of an audience and to a narcissist people are an audience they're just a chess piece in their game they will go all out to humiliate you any way they can so they can feel smug and better about themselves and also so they can gain enablers and fly monkeys to their side. They will lie, they will go all out to provoke a certain reaction within you and then gaslight you and accuse you of your reactions have been the wrong. So if they receive a narcissistic injury, they will happily go and gain new supply elsewhere and then accuse you of being the jealous one all because you dared to speak to your mother or your father and they wanted your attention. So they will go all out to gaslight you, but they will usually provoke a feeling within you first or they will accuse you of not caring about them. They'll accuse you of imagining things. Narcissistic people, when they've received a narcissistic injury and they've gone into that narcissistic rage, the way you protect yourself is not by explaining or defending, which is our natural human response to people. It's by getting out of there as quickly and as safely as you can. Don't engage in the conversation. Don't defend yourself. Don't argue with them. Never intentionally 
injury narcissistic person. Yes, before we realise what we're dealing with, we can call them out, we can ask them a question, we can confront them about something and we can get into that loggerheads with them because we can also be coming from our ego as well of wanting to get them to see, wanting to get them to apologise. And if you have to force somebody to apologise to you and with a narcissist it's a false apology. It's I'm sorry you, I'm sorry if, I'm sorry but they're not genuine, they're remorseful. They're just appeasing you so that they can continue to exploit you and get their needs met by you. So even when we injure them it's not intentional and once we are aware we can learn not to do these things. The best thing when dealing with narcissistic people is don't recognise who they are, recognise their gains and safely step away from them. Go with limited contact and grey rock or no contact if possible. You are not going to win with them. They're coming from a completely different mindset to you and they're looking to get everything their own way they're looking to get all the attention on them and they lack the empathy to care so they will stop at nothing to destroy you if they believe that you've got one over on them or you've injured them in some way once you are out of their games unfortunately they do look for another source of supply while we are naive, we, we do feed into it. But once we are aware, we can start stepping away from it. <clears throat> Narcissistic individuals don't particularly get consequences. They they just play the victim of how people have turned against them. They, they don't see the role that they played. They believe it's the other person's fault. And they will often go all out to punish those who dare to stand up to them while they play the victim with those around them. So the best thing you can do when dealing with a narcissist is step away and no longer play. You have to be careful around those who lack empathy. If anyone has any thoughts on this video, please do add those into the comments for people reading through. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel. It's greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about narcissistic behaviour to give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. If you are looking for further help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetUp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. I do also have several books out on Amazon, 15 Rules to Deal with Narcissistic People if you cannot go no contact, a narcissist handbook which is the ultimate guide to understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse and how to create boundaries around those who have no respect for your boundaries. Those links will be in the description also if you'd like to go and check them out. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.